Welcome to our short online yoga practice to celebrate the new moon in the sign of Virgo. Virgo, represented by the Virgin, is an earth sign. The Virgo qualities are of grounding, nurturing and judging. This is a wonderful time to create support and safety before the transition into the autumn season. It can be a time to reflect on the beauty around us and to appreciate it without getting caught in the cycle of judgment or criticism. Our yoga practice today will honor the earthly qualities of grounding and nurturing poses, whilst also giving us space to appreciate the beauty and stillness. There will be no flows in our practice today. If you want to add any crystals, carnelian, amazonite, or green aventurine will amplify the qualities of this practice. Lavender, chamomile, or clary sage will bring supportive qualities to your space. When you're ready, let's begin. Welcome to your new moon in the sign of Virgo yoga practice. So we're going to start by nice grounding breath work. We're just going to remain seated however feels comfortable to you. Rest one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. And just slow the breathing down to its natural pace. And with the hand on your belly, just notice the gentle rise and fall. You may even observe that the breath works slightly lower into the abdomen, the abdominal cavity, stretching all of the beautiful tissues that support your spine, your pelvic floor, your digestive tract. And breathing fully into that space. And with the hand at your heart, you may notice again a slight ebb and flow of the inhalation, the exhalation, probably not so deep as the breath you feel in your belly. A gentle rise and fall of the chest, the rib cage. And you may even be able to feel a pulse of your heart. Notice the pace, whether you've arrived onto your yoga mat with quite a lot of excess energy today or whether it's one of a slightly more nurturing or more grounding nature. And in this way we embody the beauty of Virgo. Virgo the nurturer creating a safe, supportive, comfortable home, creating safety support in our relationships with our loved ones. But it's so easy to become overwhelmed with expectations. And this can become judgment, becoming over-analytical, or having real high expectations for ourselves and for those around us. And so I just want you to notice not just the pulse of your heart, but also the energy beneath. Whether you've arrived onto your yoga mat from a place of love or a place of expectation. And it's in this space that we set our intention, either just for today or for the entirety of the lunar cycle ahead. And so it could be as simple as the feeling of nurturing, of grounding, of embodying the qualities of the earth. Or if you'd like, you could reaffirm the affirmation I see the beauty whilst releasing the judgment. I see the beauty whilst releasing the judgment. And this affirmation we take with us into our yoga practice where we feel the joy, we feel the beauty in our postures, in the body, in how it feels. But at the same time, we release the judgment, the expectation. Take another deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Release your hands and just gently tent them to either side of your hips. Elongate your spine as you reach your right fingertips up towards the ceiling. And you can turn your gaze up towards that top hand or you can move deeper into a side stretch, maybe even releasing your chin towards your left shoulder if that feels nice. 
Come back through center like a wave motion as you switch the hands. And then as you exhale, side stretch over to the right, maybe dipping your chin towards your right shoulder. But feeling that sense of rooting, that sense of grounding through the left sit bone. That sense of beauty, that sense of joy as we stretch the muscles of the ribs, the arms, the shoulders. Inhale back through center, sweep up through both arms. And then as you exhale, bring your hands towards your knees, gently guide them to center. With your heels close towards your sit bones, bring the soles of the feet together. And you may just want to start with some gentle rocking from side to side here. And if you're like me, you may find your knees are pretty high off the floor. You might actually just want to take your hands to the outside of the thighs. Alternatively, you can really embrace some more grounding energy here by pressing the outer edges of your feet together like they're peeling the toes open like a book. And then keeping those elbows in, the heart open, you can begin to fold forwards. But try to lead with your heart, lead with your gaze forwards. And leading with your heart is a good metaphor for the Virgo practice as well. And while most of the high energy comes from a place of love, of wanting to serve those around us, of wanting to create the best, this can become overpowering. And so as long as we hold on to that root message of love and continue to work from that message, everything else will fall into place. Take another deep breath in. Exhale fully. Then as you inhale, come back up. Widen the legs, comfortably wide, not so wide that you're feeling strain. And bring your right hand to the inside of your right thigh as you inhale, reach those left fingertips up. Option to stay with that, or you can move more into the side body stretch, maybe even reaching your left fingertips towards your toes, using that right arm to just gently brace your body, spiraling the chest up. We'll stay with this upright position. Inhale like a wave, come back through center and switch. And then as you exhale, side stretch over to the left. And again, you can use this elbow as kind of a brace, eventually maybe reaching the right arm over towards the left toes. Find beauty in the pose. And then as we inhale, come back through center, you can reach up through both arms and then roll over your shins and bring yourself to a tabletop position. And we'll just take a couple rounds of cat cow, inhaling into cow pose, connecting the hands to the earth, exhale round into cat. One more time of each, inhaling. Exhaling. Inhaling. And then from here, you're going to bring your toes to a tucked position. Feet stay hips width apart. And the first option is to just gently bring the weight back as much as feels good to you. So you're always welcome to stay in tabletop. Eventually it might feel nice to even walk the hands back a touch more or even to rest the hands on the thighs. Just let your shoulders relax down. Palms face down for a more calming effect of the body. And slow your breathing. Feel the sensation, the earthy qualities of your feet. But no pain. Finish your exhalation. Then bring yourself forwards to hands and knees, untuck the toes, give the tops of the feet a little tap to the floor. And then our counter posture can be child's pose, sitting the hips to the heels. Or for our ankle stretch, you can sit your pelvis on top of the backs of your heels. Or for even more sensation, tent your fingers. And you can either, one hand at a time, bring one hand to your opposite knee, and then just gently lift one knee at a time. Or lift both knees together. As you breathe, slowing down. Find beauty in the moments you can. And then when you're ready, bring yourself back to a tabletop position and just gently bend the elbows 
untuck those toes and bring yourself forwards to a sphinx pose with the elbows under your shoulders fingers spread nice and wide as you inhale lift your rib cage through lift your gaze up slightly and just feel an opening on the front of the body as you engage through the posterior chain the upper back and the back of the neck but keep your legs slightly soft now this next one be mindful there should be no pain in your neck if you have sensitive neck or shoulders today maybe stay with a neutral position through your head otherwise you can let the shoulders shrug up by the ears as you bring your chin towards your collarbone this is quite a deep stretch through the back of your neck ready release yourself down bring your palms by your ribs as you lift up into tabletop position and then very quick transition into down dog just enough to bring your feet to mat width apart and you can find a little stretch here through those hamstrings pressing the chest back but then we're going to walk the hands back sink the hips low as we come into garland pose eventually bringing the palms together at the center of your heart You can always support your ankles by gently rolling up your yoga mats, placing it underneath your heels or using blocks. With the option to move into a twist, so bring your right hand down just wider than your right thigh to the floor. Option to reach your left fingertips up. If your shoulders feel pretty open today, you can internally rotate your right shoulder, reach it for your right thigh, and then eventually reach those left fingertips back. But keep pressing through the outside edge of your left foot. Don't let the knees buckle in. As you inhale, gently unwind, bring yourself back and switch. So use that left arm to press the left thigh open. And then from there, you can keep your right hand to the thigh, reach up. Or eventually, if it feels good, internal rotation of that left shoulder. As you wrap around for the left thigh, and eventually the right fingertips may bind but keep pressing now through the outside edge of your right foot. Maintain the connection to the earth, letting go of judgment if possible. Release the bind of your hands, just gently bring yourself back to a neutral position with the shoulders down and away from the ears. And we're gonna come from this garland pose slowly into a happy baby pose. So if you need to adjust on your mat, absolutely fine. From this position, now bear in mind you don't want to drop onto your tailbone if it's pretty far from the floor. Otherwise, if you can, bring your arms forward as kind of a counterweight. Rest your sit bones to the earth as you roll back. And then taking your feet with you, come back to a happy baby with the soles of the feet towards the ceiling. Knees generously bent as you gently use those hands to guide the knees down to the floor. And then hug your knees into the chest, bring the soles of the feet to the earth, hips width apart. And we're gonna come into a bridge pose, a nice grounding posture, but also a nice little heart opener. Feet hips width, toes and knees are hips width apart. Arms alongside your body, palms down as you inhale, lengthen your tailbone towards the backs of the heels. Option to stay with this, pressing through the backs of the arms, or option to interlace fingers behind your back, rolling onto the tops of the shoulders, keeping your knees in line with your hips by pressing through the big toe mound of your feet. Keep bringing your chin away from your chest and keep the glutes, the legs a little bit soft. Let the work make its way up the spine into the heart space. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release the bind of your hands very gently one vertebrae at a time. Come to lower yourself down. Now from here, hug your right knee in towards your chest, knee towards your shoulder. Left knee can stay as is, or for a bit more of a stretch, bring your left leg towards the front edge of your yoga mat. Breathe now low into the diaphragm, into the belly again, getting that nice massage. The organ represented with Virgo is actually the intestines, so it's really good for digestion as well. 
So breathing down into that space. And then option, if you have lower back sensitivity to bend both knees to your chest, otherwise you can keep your left knee long. Use your left hand, guide that right thigh across and over towards the left. You can use the left hand to help press it towards the earth. Try to keep your right shoulder blade on the earth as you turn your gaze over towards your right hand with the option for the elbow bent at 90 degrees or palms straight out to the side. And again, try to breathe deep as you feel the intensity of this pose, gently massaging through your digestive system, but at the same time embracing that earthy grounding quality, the nurturing quality of Virgo. Guide yourself back through center, hug your right knee in, then hug your left knee in, bring the sole of the right foot down to the floor or right leg long as you work on just the single leg compression of your left side. Again, the deeper you can breathe, the lower you breathe, the more you're gonna get that juicy benefits to your digestive system. And then from here, you have the option to bend your right knee as well. Otherwise, use your right hand to your left thigh as you gently guide your left knee over to the right. Try to keep your left shoulder grounded, whether the arm is in cactus or out to the side. And it's okay if that left knee is nowhere near the floor, as long as you don't feel any discomforts through your spine. Breathing into those soft tissues. Letting go of judgments. And then when you're ready, hug your knees back through center. Squeeze both knees in now for full wind relieving for a couple breaths. Get that compression as tight as you can while still maintaining your lower back and your neck firmly long so your head is on the floor so you're not crunched up in a ball. Keep your belly connecting to those thighs as you breathe even deeper. And maybe just again connecting to your intention of nurturing, of grounding or the affirmation, I see the beauty whilst releasing the judgment. I see the beauty whilst releasing the judgment. And then when you're ready, extend your legs long, bring your feet out to the front corners of your mat with your arms alongside your body, palms open. Or if you'd like, you can come into a reclined bound angle with the soles of the feet together. And once again, one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Your choice for how you'd like to close off your practice today. Just let go of the control, the depth of your breath and allow it to find its natural ebb and flow. This is your reminder to connect to the earthly pleasures as we transition from summer into autumn. The beauty of the earth signs is that we truly do connect to the sensory pleasures gifted to us in this world. And Virgo can become so strong in creating the perfect image perfect senses, the perfect way to live, to work. And actually we don't need to find perfection in everything, but instead to find beauty in anything. And so maybe your practice for the month ahead is to create a space that feels nurturing, loving and kind. But letting that nurturing quality be the overwhelming thread that weaves it all together. 
So instead of getting too associated with the end results of creating a perfect image, whether that be your home, your work, your family, instead let the nurturing guide you. How best can I serve those around me, myself? How best can we embody the earth element and enjoy the pleasures that life has to offer? As with any new moon practice, it's really nice to use this time to set intentions or for spellcraft, for journaling, for the rest of your month ahead. However you choose to spend your energy for this next lunar cycle, I wish you all the best in your transition. Thank you all so much for joining me. Namaste.